Okay, is the stream on its way? Yep, looks a bit like it. Now we sit around and wait. And while we wait, we try to clean up all the trash that we left lying around all day. Ah, oh, g'day Mike. I'm just reorganizing my desktop windows. Okay. Right. Uh, that should about do it. Oh, g'day six skills and plan B. I've not seen you here before, Plan B, unless you've uh, been a quiet participant. Yeah, welcome, anyway. Let's see, we'll just wait for a couple more people to tottle in. Let's see how things are going for everybody at the end of the week. Uh, a couple of you probably noticed I didn't do a live stream last night. There really wasn't uh, anything for me to be live streaming so to speak <laughs> plus I took a bit of a lazy night off I must admit and uh, hey Keith missed part of the last session what is the state of play um, well basically we have the Galaxy Tab 3 and we need a new charge port for it as well as a battery so uh, yeah so I took the night off thinking I was going to relax and I foolishly decided to watch Netflix which said to me oh Mr. Daniels maybe you would like to watch Suicide Squad yeah that was a mistake that was a bit of I don't think I'll ever get that hour and a half or so back in my life uh, it was a bit disappointing I oh, know there's probably some people who really enjoyed it but no I didn't I should have been a stronger person and walked away. <laughs> I thought, yeah, yeah, maybe it was okay. But nope, 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 nope. It was not. Okay, this is the um, board that we worked on the other night. And we took the charge port off because it was stuffed up. Uh, let's see, put that over there. Just starting to go through your videos. Time to say hi and thanks. Oh, you're welcome, Plan B. So, I know they're a little bit um, low in the quality and all sorts of other little things that could be improved. But I guess it's one of those progressive type situations where just over time you work on them more and more. Okay, hopefully this doesn't fall into the camera. Oh, that's good. Okay. Alrighty. I need my charge port. And naturally, I have put them in one of my little organization boxes. Oh, be right back. Okay, I thought it best I pick up everything that I might potentially need while I was over on the other side of the room. Uh, tweezers, surgical knife in case things get really desperate, and the good old spudger. Motor man, oh, you haven't missed too many. There wasn't a live stream last night, so you yeah, definitely didn't miss that. Uh, Harlequin, not your cup of tea. Well, no, actually, Harlequin was perhaps the only thing that kept me mildly interested in the film. Everything else was just painful and contrived, and I don't know if I just didn't watch the movie properly or something, but there was a whole lot of 
loose ends and ah, oh, it was just I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in there that I just didn't understand. Uh, who knows? Could have just been me. Alright, so I've managed to get my charge ports for this. I will say I also got the batteries for this and you'll remember that I had two of these tablets and the other one just needed a battery. And sure enough I put it in, it worked fine, so that's now sitting in the collection room waiting to be picked up by the customer. Yes, Motor Man, I actually have a few of the hemostats. That's what I, what I always... Yeah, I do have a few of those. I find them quite useful. Also for electronics and stemming blood flow. Now I'm going to have to most likely preheat this board a little bit just to get it up to temperature. She was the highlight, she was the only light. Yeah, I don't know, but it, it, the movie could have been quite good, but it seems like they just, I don't know, they edited it to hell. And that whole end scene seemed more like it was Ghostbusters than anything else. So, was it a case of they tried too hard? Maybe they were appeasing too many famous people? Who knows? <sighs> Dental drills from Jess. <laughs> uh, the guy that played the Joker is going to be the new It Clown. Oh yes, in the um, Stephen King. Oh, my God. So you want to want to tell me why? We have about 10 different contacts on these Samsung Galaxy. Yeah. Uh, hmm. This paper's going to burn. Well, I'll be replacing this desk anyway in the near future, so I'm just going to let it burn. I kind of prefer that I liberate fumes from this particular board, um, this wood, rather than the MDF type wood that comes with all my circuit boards. I have a little bit of a concern with regards to its uh, various chemical components. Alright, first thing I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to clean up that solder there. Jess's stream from last night. Was that... I saw the start of that one. Was that... Uh, it started off with her trying to pick out the underfill on something and she had a guest with her. Oh, looks like I need to wet my foam again. Are talking about the content of Jess's stream? It degraded? In what way did it degrade? Because I only watched the first five, six minutes of it. Progressed onto sinks. It wasn't the one from a couple of days ago talking about um, 
Now, I swear that was Lewis's stream that degraded. Yeah, the stream with the geneticist was actually quite good. I mean, the going through the whole questionnaire thing was a little bit excruciating. I was like, come on, just answer already. <laughs> Pick a topic. Pick an answer. I mean, okay. Are you coming up to speed? Funnily enough, a lot of Jess's uh, biology um, streams seem to become quite popular. Lewis Lewis's streams begin degraded. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Notice he's been done a couple of first thing in the morning streams lately, or has he done them extremely late? Alrighty, now it's a shame Chris Long isn't here because he would love to see this. It's taken me over a month to get this stuff. I don't know what happened, I ordered it and it was supposed to be six or seven days, but it's only just turned up now. So, yeah, this is recommended by Mr. Chris Long. It's a tech spray, no clean, 180. You know, 1823 10F, the 10F must be 10 foot. And it's number 4 gauge or whatever. I think it's about 2.5-3 mil width. I almost forgot the most important thing here to ensure my longevity. I will be getting replacements of this, it's just a case of I'm um, just getting things rolling again. Hey, my way. Do you have that sold or linked in your list? Uh, let's see. Wait, you're talking about the solder or the wick? Yeah, I noticed poor Lewis copped that sunburn pretty bad. Poor guy. Easy enough to happen, that's for sure. Catches you out real easy. Like around here in this weather, it's really bad. You can just be out for five minutes too long and that's it. You're sunburnt. Okay, this this wick is sucking the absolute life of the heat out of my eye. I'm gonna have to turn my Turn that down. Where's my solder? Yeah, the wick, um, I'll put it in the 
the list. I'll be honest and say this is actually the first time I'm trying it. So we'll see how we go. But as I said, it's the one that Chris Long uses. And he's been pimping it all over. Damn it. And the bugger of a thing's not. I'm going to have to go for a really, well, I wouldn't call it risky, but uh, well, actually it is risky. I should point out that this is my own uh, board now. The customer will be getting theirs, and this one is mine. So if I damage this, then crap, just something happened then. It's no great. No great loss, other than the fact that it would have been nice to have one of these on hand. So uh, what I'm planning on trying to do is I'll just rest that in about the right place and hopefully it'll sink into those circuit board recesses. Do our flux a wick. In this one, no. This one, as far as I know, should have its own flux built in. Not to say that it might not need it. Now on my Gootwick, I don't need to flux it, although I do still do that occasionally. Sold them off is the best I've found. Yeah, see everybody, um, everybody ends up with their preferred options, I think. Alright, I'm going to have to go under the... Uh, blimey heck. I'm going to have to go under the magnifying glass for this, I'm sorry. There's just no other way for me to do it, so you're going to have to put up with a minute or two of uh, a minute or two of not seeing what's going on. Then again, you're only on 720p, so you're suffering anyway. might change the nozzle up because this is the 6mm and it's just not quite big enough now we have to remember not to touch the nozzle with our hands because that results in a lot of noise on the uh, a lot of noise on the microphone predominantly me screaming What the hell's my heat?
Okay. Ah, get out. Australia 77. Uh, let's see, Mike, did you decide on what microscope you're getting? I'm fairly sure I've narrowed it down to the one I want. Um, there's a certain number of options that I'm still trying to decide on. I've noticed most people are going for the 0.5 Barlow on these things, and I was thinking I might try the 0.7 Barlow. And I'm fairly sure this did not even come close to going through. Yeah, I don't think it did. Let me check. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Gonna have to do that again. There was something obstructing it. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it didn't get all the way through in terms of the heat. All I know is I have to do this again. I was fairly sure when I was doing that that I didn't see it uh, drop on the back properly. And my, my brain was correct. Is that buddy that didn't fall? It's not making contact. And the other half of my brain was going, no, mate. It'll be fine. So here we go again. Uh, Milton. Double check that. the flip. Something's holding that port up at the back. Happy enough. Oh, this is really pissing me off. Sorry, excuse the language. I'm gonna have to take this off and see what's going on.
Ah, oh, g'day ITM2. Uh, be getting well my way if I get the 0.7 bar low, it will be up to about 67 magnification. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. It's like there's... I don't know, maybe there's something on the other side that's simply not... melting. I really don't like the fact that the board is just free holding there. Yeah, I'm sure the board doesn't like it either. So I'm going to try and just put in some more leaded solder on this side. I do much prefer it when these things just work, but they never do. It could be a case there was leaded solder. Uh, unleaded solder still hanging around on the other side. I will say this wick of Chris Long's is extremely tight weave, um, whereas, say, the Goot wick is a little bit more open. So, how that influences the absorption of solder, I'm not entirely 100% sure which way it will go. On the one hand, you can say it's got more copper surface area, which should in turn result in more absorption. Now on the other hand, you could say it's too tight and it won't pick it up. It does seem quite reluctant to do bulk absorption. Oh, for God's sake, fan, you're not doing anything. I do apologize, this is rather profoundly amateurish. So, if you came for the sh amateur show, you're in the right place. Oh, for goodness sake, do not do that. Come on. Use solder it clean and resolder and solder iron, don't use heat gun. There I kinda of was hoping to go for the heat gun just to drop it in. But yes, I may have to just pick away at it. Which is most definitely not my preferred method. I 
So, you know, you, you dream of it being a case of, let's put the new connector on. Let's run the hot air over it. And it will just nicely drop back in. Yeah, Mark, it doesn't really have a very good drawer at the moment. Alright. Here we go again. Uh, this soldering iron does not have the power to do the job. <sighs> That's okay. <sighs> We've got the backup beast. What do I need? Just need a cable. I've just got to get an IEC cable. Pianov, did you get caught out with the um, PCH issue? Okay, let's go. I just realised I've been doing this without gloves. It's quite annoying. Yeah, my way, the 0.7 bar low will, like I say, it's, it's a compromise between uh, top magnification versus uh, working area. So I figure 150 uh, millimeters of working area should be sufficient, or at least in theory, we all love a good theory. Okay. Now I've got to be careful with the soldering iron. It's uh, got a lot of heft behind it, so it can can damage boards if I'm not careful. Fine, you're talking about the board itself, I hope, as opposed to what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, for God's sake, man. I can't hold this steady. Obviously, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on the board. Or else it's going to bend like no tomorrow. For goodness sake, this is really not coming out. It's really starting to get on my nerves. I will forewarn the people watching that, uh, unlike Lewis, I tend not to laugh quite as much off. I tend to get a little bit cantankerous if things keep stuffing around like that. Okay, I've got a bit of an opening there. Not much, but a bit. Could be that the weather's on the cooler side today. That's my excuse. God damn it, it's just not pulling anything out. Now yeah, some connectors, the, the hole size is just small enough to really keep a grip on that fluid. Do you have inter... No, not on the 100 one. That 100 one is set. No options. I probably could if I looked around for one, but it's pretty old. It's like a dinosaur, this thing. See if I can't bring out the surgicals. And to think I was even thinking of doing an iPod tonight. <sighs> IT, are you talking about, say, like the J tip? Because, yeah, I mean, the tips on this are just a wee bit small. So, the thing that concerns me is that I'm kind of wasting or abusing a lot of the uh, available life in the board before it starts suffering. I really need something to support this board. How about you? Can you be useful? You can. Very good. I do not doubt if one has the appropriate tools that a job like this would simply be a lot quicker and cause less drama. I'm going to use my Gootwick.
basically what's happening is um, I've wicked from both sides and so now I've got this layer and it's moderately thick that's sitting in the middle that doesn't want to budge Well, Spencer, the issue is there's probably about three or four layers here that are just nothing but solid flood fills. And the laws of fluid dynamics say that they don't want to come out. <laughs> Now fortunately solder doesn't stick to stainless steel. I don't know why I didn't do this originally. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Come on, Paul. Get a grip. Be a man. Get a grip. Ah, for... <sighs> Chip quick. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it might, but really at this point, it's I'm more fighting fluid dino. Uh, surface tension. Mother frickin' hell, that's hot. Ow. Oops. Okay. Uh, warning to all. Uh, hot air apparently is hot. Oh. Yeah, that actually did work. That came out. Unfortunately, it also it also cost me. Okay, let's go for the next one. How the heck did you turn upside down?
Well, this is the end of that. I'm going to use tweezers. Perhaps it would take... I'll probably take less hit points if I use tweezers. They, they just feel wrong. How about you, Kirby's? Soul gods require a sacrifice. Yes, they're baying for my blood. Oh my! Pork crackling. We're clear. And we have one wee beast left. Really, it shouldn't be this difficult. But I must admit, this is the first of this particular connector on this particular device that I've done like this. So, I hope you're all enjoying the experience of me being a complete noob. Tools were designed to use the right hands, no kidding. Yeah. The joys of being a left-handed person. Okay, we're all clear on that. How many parts did we dislodge? Well, the gods appear to have been kind enough at least to allow me to retain my parts on the other side, so for that I am thankful. <sighs> Sorry it's been such a drama everybody. See, when I use this iron for things like this sort of wicking it's just like ni hot knife through butter. Which is why it was distressing me that I wasn't getting it before. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, we'll get that turned off. You have done your due purpose. Thank you very much. Just don't set the curtains on fire. Not because I care about the curtain, but because I don't really care to have a fire. Today has been a fun day. Um, I lost a job this morning because the person didn't attend to the right location, which is actually somewhat my own fault. Uh, for many years we have been number 42, and there's been no troubles with that. But then the, our neighbour split their block and for some reason the council here decided that instead of calling them perhaps say 40A and 40 they took our number and called them 42A There's a little bit of rise on that, need to clear that up so ever since then it's been a bit of a constant drama because the neighbour's house is far more likeable than ours. Ours, like if anyone's ever seen the Simpson episodes where you have, I think it was Maggie, trying to choose between the Simpsons and the Flanders. And I need this back on. Um, and so Maggie looks at her family and it's like this swampland with dark swamplands, things like that. And then she looks over to the Flanders house, and it's all glowy, happy, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, well, that's like here. And I, unfortunately, am 
the swampland, Homer Simpson house. So naturally, when customers turn up, they think, they think, my God, that man has not got his fume extractor on, so I'm not going to go to see him. Yeah. Uh, so they look at the house and they go, ah, oh, this doesn't look like the house of a successful IT person. And so they go to my neighbours, <laughs> who then promptly tell them, no, nope, you got the wrong place. <laughs> Uh, fixing things, I got them from Easy Fix. How I'm using. Yeah, um, yeah easyfix.com.au. They use Overnight Express to here. Funnily enough, it's through. Um, uh, what do you call it? Fastways. Which is funny because you and I both know that that's Australia Post, which usually means it takes forever. Uh, so anyway, after losing that job today, I was rather mad, uh, which is why you probably can all sense that I'm a little cantankerous this evening. But I did move to resolve the problem, and henceforth I went out to the local hardware store, and I bought the letter A for the neighbours, so that I could stick it onto their letterbox because they just had 42 because no one ever put the A on that. So I put the A on this. That solves that problem. And then I went down and I kicked my letterbox down because it was a piece of junk that actually was termites holding hands. And I dug a hole out uh, to remove the what remained of the stump of the reata pine. And I promptly installed a bigger hole you can get them at hardware shops nowadays, holes, yes. And what is wrong with this? What is going on with this tip? Yeah, it's hot. Get out of here. Why aren't you going? Oh, God. And I bought a new letterbox. And I bought new sets of numberings. And I bought reflective numberings and ordinary numberings, and I plastered my letterbox with the right numbers. And so now, hopefully, people will see that this is number 42 yet again. And if they don't, then maybe I don't want them as customers. Okay, that's a little harsh. That's, that's actually way harsh now. We all have difficulties at times finding locations. Like I said, I'm just feeling cantankerous, and I do apologise. Um, I, they didn't come back. They may come back in a couple of weeks. And I used to have a sign out the front of the house until we had our cyclone. And now I don't have a sign out the front of the house. But I will get another sign. But they do take time to make up and money and all the rest of it. Anyway. Yeah, Mike, they, they ended up next door. And uh, I said, we do, I will point out that we have always had great big brass metal you know, um, numbers on the front of our house, as in it's, it's actually on the wall, but the wall is 
set back from the uh, footpath by a fair distance. So I don't blame them for not seeing that. Anyway, in the end, it's probably a, it's ultimately my fault. It's a, something I should have resolved many times ago because I've had plenty of close calls already, and it took me to definitely lose this job for the meantime to finally get something done about it. And sadly, that's probably life in general. Yeah, fixing things. Fast ways is pretty quick here, so... Yeah, I'm lucky. I'll definitely say I'm lucky in that respect. I'll get stuff from Sydney overnight for whatever, you know, $15. Actually, no, it's $11.90 freight most of the time. So if you order something from Easy Fix, it's $11.90 freight, and you might get lucky and it might turn up next day. Mike, in this case, the neighbour wasn't home. Uh -huh. Under normal circumstances, they actually are very good and they redirect people here. And I sort of suspect that's what kind of made me slack up a bit because I was thinking, eh, yeah the neighbours will tell the people I'm here I mean, they've received my parcels plenty of times and they just say, oh you're after the guy next door, not here wait for that to warm up Yeah, Spencer, I'm thinking of that. Well, I was going to go and buy a um, A-frame. I'm sure most of you know what those are. Yeah, sandwich board A-frames. And I figure all I really need to do is put a picture of an iPhone on it. Something like that. People straight away know what, what it means. Or at least I hope they do. <laughs> uh, what tip have I got on this? You're the 1.2... And you got a chip out of you. Have you got a chip out of you? Maybe I should put my 0.8 chisel on there. No. Do not use the chisel. I get tempted to go back to using the chisel tip every now and then. But I know it's a lie. It, it talks to me and it says, come on Paul, use me. I'm nice and fine. I've got a nice little edge on me. But then you try to use the chisel tip and nothing sticks. Um, Mike, yes, this is this is direct from Lewis, um, 30 mil syringe, and yeah, I got it with the plunger uh, plunger rubber. So if you don't get one with it, seriously, just go down to the local vet supply or the vet store or the vet, I should rather say. And they should have them because they use these things for horses. Two months shipment pile up in China. Yeah. Uh, not in China, Canada. I gotta ask in Canada, do they. Um, do you have to go through a lot of customs process? Like if it's over $100 or something like that, you gotta go through the whole. do the paperwork, pay the. Uh, import duties and things like that because that is one thing here in Australia that's a bit of a double-edged sword is that we have up to a thousand dollar import cutoff so as long as it's not over a thousand dollars declared they don't even bother checking in most cases um, it will go straight through there's no delay and I think it's just a it's not because they don't want to charge you it's just unrealistic for them to be able to find the resources to manage all those packages um, got to go under the magnifying again. Oh man. I'll be glad when that microscope is finally in my little hands.
And once again, I've forgotten the gut. And I'll be glad when I've set up my exhaust system better. I managed to solder the main pins easy enough because those side pins are always such a such tricky little devils. Idiot. Tried to touch something up and I just made it worse. Alright, toothbrush and alcohol time. Sad to say, I'm a little concerned I may have butchered this board simply just through heat abuse. I do apologise if that ends up being the case. Now because I don't have a microscope to inspect this closely, what I'll be doing is taking a photo of it with my camera and then inspecting it. That's how I did a MacBook Air the other week. Um, the clock chip area had been corroded away and it was all 0201 parts and the traces of course were fairly fine I couldn't see it properly so I just did the best I could and then checked it under a camera photo
<laughs> uh, rough mornings, eh? Yeah, I wouldn't say the soldering is brilliant, but it actually does look passable. There's a pair, a pair of lines on the left hand side that I need to just check that they're not shorted. Okay. Fortunately they splay out to pair of A4A2s. Oh, that's good. We don't have a short. Marvellous. Let's check for something else. Doesn't seem like a short there. Are you meant to be shorted? Are you ground? I'm guessing you are. Microscopes are overrated. Yeah, okay. Yep. All right. You're lucky. I know you're trolling. <sighs> All right. So it's a simple way to test this. I suppose the easiest thing I can do is plug in my USB charger. And fortunately, this little device of mine does have a current limit switch on it. So I can set it up here. I can set it to say 400 milliamps should be fine. And if I short it, then it's fine. It'll just cut out. At least in theory. And we're showing 116, 115. So we're good. Okay. Pass that first test. Whew. I don't know about the other people watching, but I still get butterflies. <coughs> Pardon me. I still get butterflies almost every time I go to start up something after I've sold it on it. Is it lack of confidence? Perhaps. Is it expectation based on previous results? Perhaps. Is it just the issue of the fact that I can't see what I'm doing? Perhaps. <laughs> ah, look at this. My workbench is an absolute mess. I don't know how Lewis manages to keep his so clean all the time. Anyway, alright, well we're going for the um, the big test here. So fingers crossed we do not release any magic smoke because I unfortunately do not have a spare can of magic smoke on hand. New battery. Well, that didn't catch on fire, so that's a good start. Except somebody forgot to plug that in. That should be okay. <sighs> you have a present for me. Oh no. I don't know why I get paranoid about people telling me they've got presents. But I do. Okay, let's see if I can... In this probably will go into current over limit mode. Over limit. There we go. But that's okay, that's expected. So reset. Try now. 
So 51, are you going to boot? Do these things boot on their own, like an iPhone? Or do you need to induce them? Uh, I guess it might be an inducing. Would have expected to see something there. Do not appear to have a display. What's going on? I don't have a display. Everything seems alright. Yeah, fixing things is what I was thinking. When I plug it in, I should have seen something up for the battery. Unless I really did botch something up. I mean, it's entirely possible something fell off or shifted or got cooked uh, that was a pretty bad solder job all over with that connector and this battery is giving me the dillies come on ok that's, that's pushed in pretty good Uh, I think I've cooked it, guys. Well, I was charging the other one with this, and it was fine. I genuinely would not be surprised that I've cooked this. That was way too long, way too much heat. Everything was wrong. It's drawing 450 at the moment, and the battery probably has about... Uh, I don't know, it's probably half full. I've done something, I'm fairly sure of it. We'll have a look. Is my plastics badger? Incidentally, that combo touch LCD unit apparently it works, so that's additionally distressing to me because I. Trying to, I'm asking them now what they tested with. I 
Hey Jabara. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Did I pick up the right battery? Yeah, this is... that's one of the new ones. Let's check the voltage on it. What the hell? No, what? Oh, oh no, it's okay. No, sorry, me just having a. It's interesting. The coloring's backwards. They got black wires and it's positive, and red wires is negative. That's just hilarious. Quality control. Uh, fixing things. No, this is the um, two ten. Yeah, look at this. These are the original batteries. And this is the one I bought. But I don't think it's actually really going to matter. Other than the fact that the connector just broke. Oh, man. Okay, we've got the semi-working one, so let's have a look at that. Maybe there's something actually genuinely... Yeah, that's... Um, the word I would use is that's fire-trucked. So maybe my battery was a bit dud. Even still, I mean, I wanna, I wanna believe, but I have my reservations on believing. Let's try this again. I can't believe that was broken. Still nothing. Still drawing 450. I got nothing coming up on the display. Well, even though they got the cable colours the wrong way, at least it was actually the correct polarity. And I really can't feel any... There's nothing really getting hot. So I'm imagining that 450 is going into the battery. Three point four seven 
nine, eight, yeah, it's charging the battery, so it's a start. The battery's a little low. So just, what was that again? 348, so it's actually very low. These batteries are essentially empty at 3.6. I guess we're just going to have to leave this guy. I have a feeling that I've butchered something in the power circuitry down the bottom there. And it's possibly just holding it off. Is the charger turned on? Yes. <laughs> but thank you. Can you measure the voltage on the board from the charging port at all? Well, I measured the battery and the battery voltage is increasing so it does imply that it's charging. I am still curious as to what on earth went wrong here. I just snapped clean off that did. Push come to shove I can I can just uh there we go. Come on. Push come to shove. I can simply knock off that plastic oh I'm on fixed focus no wonder duh um, I can knock off this plastic connector and just swap it with one of the others but like I said my, my hopes are not running high here yeah they do take a little while to boot from dead at least the one that I did earlier today did but not that long so this one's got 3.8 on it it's still fairly flat okay that's not true that's about halfway Three point five two, come on, five five. You, it's really struggling. Five two six. But the biggest concern I have is that it doesn't even give me a a battery indication. What are you doing? Nothing. Well, what I can do in the meantime is actually try and swap this connector out. That's always fun. Well, I could try to do a firmware reset, but um, I'll just try and switch this over. Hopefully I won't short anything. I'm going to need my knife. Removing it's the easy bit. I should rather say removing the um, the connector. We oh man, why do they make these things so stiff? The risky bit is I don't want it accidentally the wires touching each other on the way out. Oh my word. Drive power home, 
power home and down on blue. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Especially considering I don't even have the case on. <laughs> okay. Home, up, sorry, down, home, and power. Ah. I can't even get the blooming thing. I don't think I'm holding them down. No, I don't think they hold down. No, I think I'm just going to leave this and charge for half hour or so and see if it gives me any sort of um, bit of luck there. But I have a feeling it's... I'm fairly sure there's something I've upset down on the bottom section of that board. And it's paying me its due respects. And what have we got for time? We've just passed one o'clock, so I'm probably better off closing up for tonight cleaning up I knew when I was working on that port that it was just taking way too long some days you have wins some days you are the breaker <laughs> So normally if a customer comes in with one of these faults, I generally like don't do it. Uh, I will do uh, Galaxy S3 ports. This seems to be slightly easier. This one just had an incredible amount of um, thermal grounding on it. Didn't accidentally nudge the display cable. No, uh, I thought that might have been it, but then I pulled it all apart again and got the same result, really. It is a little bit tricky because we're dealing with a case of, well, the, the good battery, the battery that actually has power, is not functioning for us because it's got a backwards cables and a broken connector uh, yeah I could try I wonder uh, what if I power it up through the power supply TV Henry, in my case, it was mine, so yeah. <laughs> I'm a friend of myself, although I'm not feeling it right now. But yeah, I agree, it's it's not something I'd normally bother taking on, especially the price of these, but what do you get them for? New, a hundred bucks, something like that. It's just not worth it. Especially when you get a very real risk of exactly this sort of thing happening. And so either you are to blame, which, like I said, is entirely possible right now, or you're not, but you're still going to have to take the blame. So I'm simply pulling this apart so I can get the cell out, and then I can take that loom off and use it for putting onto the power supply. And at least this one, the wires are the correct way around. Well, Spencer, the problem isn't really the current limiting. It, it's only pulling 450 on the charge, and it's certainly not pulling anything more when it boots. But, uh, but then again, no, actually come to think of it, you could be right. It's, um, the battery is on a different circuit. Although I would have thought 
that when I tried to, with the charger, as soon as I tried powering up, if it was shorted, it would tend to reflect in the charger a little bit. My goodness. And now to make these things tricky. Was it working prior to touching? Yes, it did seem to be. So yeah, as you can imagine, henceforth me believing I have indeed damaged it. But I am curious as to what would have been damaged down in the charge section that would inhibit it from booting. I'm sure there is something. I guess it will become now a project of mine to resolve what it was. It could just be a simple MOSFET that indicates whether or not the system is uh, in a state that is safe to boot. Or uh, it could be something more complicated. Blimey heck, they like to make these cells difficult to get into. Ah, that's one. safely use a exacto knife on this because as most of you will be well aware you make one false move with that and you're going to puncture this cell and then it will be interesting okay still can't believe that they got the other one backwards Four fifty sounds like charge load. We we'll expect it picks up to two hundred short periods. Yeah, well, it won't probably get up to that on this because the uh, brick that it's connected to and through this. I mean, it's staying steady at four fifty, so I'm guessing it's just peaked out at that. It can't pull any more. The voltage probably sags below what it wants and things like that. All right. So the question is. I cut the tabs off and solder my power supply to it the tabs where they were or do I go straight for the loom I kind of prefer the idea of putting the tabs oh it's nice I've actually got a mark B plus B minus better than the Apple batteries uh, the Apple batteries don't have that marked on them I suppose I don't f see much point in that um, makes it easy to get them backwards 3.48 okay we're good nearly punctured an iPad battery the other day oh yeah are they glued to the um, to the bottom of the case I'm guessing they are can't imagine Apple doing anything too nice for us. Okay, you gotta be careful doing this, you don't want to short no... Okay. Then get it away from the cell before you do the next one. Don't you dare touch. And we're good. I've had my fair share of lipo breakout disasters I don't really care for anymore where is my omnivice I'm just going to get my omnivice actually you guys give me two minutes I've got to go check on the kids so it won't be too long
Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, it's just getting late, and, and I was a little bit concerned as to the location of my kids. And I went out there, and I couldn't see them anywhere. Which, of course, sets me into pretty much full panic mode. And... Uh, fortunately, I did find them. Uh, well, I was going to... Oh, I didn't even get my Omnivice. Good lord. Uh. Yes, cats definitely take priority in this case. Yeah, when you don't bother replicating as a human but you decide to take on animals as your companions, well, children I suppose, uh, I guess some people think that's a bit messed up, but you know, there's a lot of us doing it these days. I think they said something like uh, in the next 20 odd years, uh, at least in Australia, there will be more people not having kids than those who do. So yeah, that's going to upset a lot of people. Come on, off you come. Come on, now you can do it. There you go. AliExpress for those things like, oh right, premium photo scepter, yeah, um, did you, I don't know if you saw on the last video that we did get end up with a link of them. Okay, a really weird way of doing this. Come on, off you come, off you come, there you go. Alright. Oh, great, Krajo. You missed all the very depressing fun. It looks like I've most likely ruined a machine. Um, I need to find something for me to wire this into the power supply. That's where the heck you've been all this time? Oh my god. <sighs> Seriously? Where's my wire? Bit down here. No, no. And stretch. Alright, let's 
uh, not asking for much, just some wire. What's that? Oh, wow. Oh, couple of well that looks like a willing victim I'm um, happy to sacrifice that so oh, these are all my old model aircraft prototype trash things actually no I know it's better Ooh, that, no you're not going to fit last okay This is one thing I... Goodness me, there's basically almost no copper in these. <laughs> wow. Very little copper core on this particular pair of wires. Okay. Alright, let's get some flux and turn it up. For some reason those wires didn't spiral up. All good. Not again. Uh, Greg, I don't know if your audio just died or whether it was just me being all sulky in my silence here. Good luck with your amplifier, PB Henry. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a happy ending on this one. Uh, you're welcome to sulk if you want to, Greg. <laughs> This workbench is turning into what my mind feels like, and that is a great big mess. Alright. suppose I shouldn't push my luck too far and I should put some captain tape on that
Frankenpod, yes. Highly appropriate time. It's definitely one of my non-memorable streams. A stream where Paul ruined more than he should have. Okay. The contacts are good. God, they really make these Samsung. It's because it's upside down, dimwit. Sorry. Okay, there we go. You're gonna reach. Of course, you're not gonna reach because it's that kind of night. Now, before I even connect anything remotely... Oh, really? I'm going to set the voltage right. <laughs> Zero... Three... We'll set it to 3.9 volts. And we'll set our current limit to 2 amps. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, CryJ, no, unfortunately, I didn't even get down to that particular store in the end. So it hasn't even been an option yet. Now there is one small issue with this particular power supply is that, I don't know if you can see it, the 5 volts are right next to the output of the second stage. So it is entirely possible to accidentally clip into 5 volts when really you didn't want that. <laughs> oh man, these alligator clips are so old that they're barely opening. Okay. And everyone ready for the smoke test? We're drawing 146, 147, 146 milliamp. Ah, oh, crap sake, and it just falls out like that. That's brilliant. Okay, so here we go. That's a lot of power to be drawing just on power connection. And I've definitely got nothing coming up. It's jumping between 100 and 150. So I've really upset something somewhere. So while the battery was unfortunate in that it was broken, it was not really the culprit. Now I suppose the next question is... Uh, actually no, if it was a screen I should still get a boot, shouldn't I? Yeah, a bit of a... So holding this down, I don't get anything. There's no real change in behaviour. Yeah, I cooked it. I had a worry I was going to do that. Yeah, if I managed to get that connector down the first time, I think it would have been alright. But I went a little overboard. The question is, what could it be? I'll set this glove off and see if I can... Yeah, Mike, I agree. It's, it's something I need to just work out another day. You ever notice it's funny? Sometimes you can't differentiate between something being hot and something being cold. Okay, we've got heat build up just here. Under the shield here. 
Um, it's not a lot of heat, just a little. It's sort of like more what you'd expect from a normal. Yeah, it's definitely just up from the connector on the side here. Uh, power off. At least we know, it. well actually, in some ways a short would have been nicer. So I like this iPad 2 here. Permanent DFU mode due to a degrading issue. Kept plugging in. Hmm. I don't know. I'm legitimately out of my depth with this. This is not a particular a, um, device I have any experience with. As you all would have noticed from the uh, stream the other night. So I'm very much in the dark. Have I destroyed the screen somehow? Yeah, was, uh, yeah, so many different possibles. I'm guessing on these that the uh, this here on the side is the actual display graphics um, port connector and this one up the top here is the touch sensor connector that's my assumption or have they successfully managed to multiplex these and such yeah for all I know it could be the charge port holding it down somehow what do you reckon? Should I take that charge port off? Or do we think that it's perfectly okay? I mean, what if what if there's a communication line that's been held low? Or something like that. T2 Twin should still boot if screen is gone. Hold down power for 5 seconds, plug in a PC with micro USB and listen for connection. Oh man, that means I'm going to have to have Windows. <laughs> yeah, I was only hoping to use this so that I would have a um, security camera terminal. You can sort of see why these are expensive, these things. There's a lot of a lot of electronics on their boards, on their screens. Hey, no, you're well secured, you're fine. There's a, got a full backlight control, everything there. I might talk to Jason SDS because I know he's dealt with the same songs a bit in the past so he might be able to just sort of say oh well, you know um, they tend to have this or that particular attribute so give it a shot yeah maybe I should just take the charge port off again I mean if it's cooked it's already cooked so it's not gonna it's not gonna change the outcome And at least this time it's uh, it's leaded solder, so it should come off a bit easier. Okay, here we go, reworking. Oh, 
Crikey. Five volts, come on. I use five volts on a lot of my stuff, but then again, I suppose my designs are from the 80s. Ah, oh, crikey. Who forgot to put the fume extractor on? I'm trying real hard not to breathe. This is Comedy Central. Come on, man, you're running out of breath. God damn it. Why me? Well, the connector came off looking fine. I'm glad that uh, Paul Dumba doesn't seem to be here at the moment because he'd be probably requesting a refund of his sponsorships. after this mockery of electronics tonight. Oh, g'day, Keith Diblin. <laughs> you sort of arrived back just when we were um, back at where we started. <laughs> Uh, thank goodness the connector came off cleanly. I wish they'd go on that easy. So what is the point of the... Ah, uh, that must be the camera. Alright, that's not a big issue. Alright. Ow. 
you're wondering what that little buzz was, that was my finger getting caught in the blades of the extractor. Um, Which reminds me, one day I was driving to the other city and I was having air conditioning issues in the car. And of course, anyone who has lived out in this area will know that if you do not have air conditioning in your car in this region during summer, you're basically going to get this close to dying. Okay, not really. I mean, obviously everybody did it for many, many years without harm. But anyway, it, it feels like you're going to get this close to dying. And so I thought, oh, maybe there's something obstructing the uh, intake impeller, or the intake rather, of the um, air conditioner system. So me and my wisdom, uh, we're still at 147, uh, me and my infinite wisdom decide to feel around under the passenger side of the dash of the car. What I didn't realise is that the squirrel cage blower that's in there has no grill in front of it. There's no protector, it's just open. So I stick my hand up there and it just went for my fingertips. Needs to say, I um, didn't do that ever again. But yeah, it was a bit of a shocker. That was a genuine idiot moment. Let me just put my hand into random places. Why not? Come on, give me a boot. I'm very disappointed in myself. You can see it's trying to do something. The current doesn't stay constant. I don't know what it's doing though. Yeah, Greg, I know other people, we've all been through it, but it still, it still sucks every time. It really does. Especially when the device wasn't that far from working in the first place. It just needed a new connector and somehow or another, it's become less. So, uh, it's always no fun when you end up with less than what you started. Yeah, I'm just going to try and pop off a few things I know that's needed and that's camera so we can drop that off uh, yeah I'm just really not even sure what to contemplate in this case no change so it's neither of those put the crest here <laughs> okay more things, let's try for that. Still the same. So we know it wasn't my connector. I mean, it wasn't a faulty installation of the connector. There's something else that I've done. Alright. Okay, we're going to have to just save this for another day. We're going to turn this into my pet, I guess, if you wish to use Jess's terms. And hopefully we'll be able to bring this one back to life. I am suspecting it hopefully isn't anything too dramatic. Or whatever it is, must be down in this region. I could have, with all that heat, um, moved a MOSFET or something like that. But at least I can now test it using this rig. Something to experiment with, I guess. Right, so it just would have been nice to have the win. Because you can't have it every time. Alright. Uh, Spencer, I am using the LiPo battery controller protection board so yeah, 
it should give me a working input Yeah, boot you bastard! Yes, yes, quite, quite the words I wish to say, along with a couple of others. Nah. Anyway, it, the thing is, it, its behaviour has not changed, regardless of me using the new battery, which then had the connector broke, broken on it, and the old battery, which it was charging, but you know, at 450 but it couldn't get us there and then the adapted version now what to do with this maybe I should have a dramatic end to this evening and stab this lipo pack which of course I'm definitely not going to be doing I'm sorry I know some people want to see that sort of thing but I'm not going to do it I am in one of the furthest corners of this house so if anything happens to catch on fire in here I have to run a very long way to get out of the house All right. yeah. oh, I can't think of much else, no, that's it I am mentally <sighs> how could you say not pleased. <laughs> At least I know that connector's alright. Or well, was alright. This one's a little bit bodged up. I do have one more spare. I did buy three of them. Oh, well. Blow it up, blow it up. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm sorry for fixing things, but, um, yeah. What am I doing putting that in there? No. If I was going to blow up a lithium pack, I would definitely be doing it outside. And I would make sure I have high-speed cameras, good resolution, all that sort of stuff, so that people can see what they've seen a million times before yet again, in a different way. I know you're kidding there. Ah, uh, right, that. Hey Farfan! Yeah, almost an appropriate name given what I feel like doing right now. Ah, oh, well. Alright then, well, I'm sorry that we have had a failure this evening. Um, I should have kept the battery any replacement as at least having one success on the video. But of course, where's the fun in that? I mean, come on. Swapping a battery, that's especially one that isn't even bonded down, it's just got screws. I think that doesn't really count for many points. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably dream and toss and turn over this one and think, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? But, as I said, I'll, I'll go speak to Jason and see if he has any insights, given that he has worked on. Samsung equipment a fair bit and I may see if I can find the schematics and stuff for it and work my way from there <sighs> if you get stuck I'll have a look mate offers there oh well uh, do you have any do you have the schematics and board views for it because that would probably help I'm guessing that I've damaged something down in that bottom section it's just floated and shifted a little bit and it may be holding down, say like the I2C line or something like that. I cannot say I squared C, it, it seems offensive to me, so I'm going to say I2C. So, Firephone, how come you lived in South Africa? I was over there for a job. Uh, let's see, the job situation. What happened was I finished university and I was going to get married and then I changed my mind the last minute, fortunately before the marriage and then I thought I'd go for a bit of a change and I went down to a city we call Brisbane and when I was down there I got into IRC and this is in Australia and there were a couple of people from South Africa also on the same IRC channel uh, we got talking and then it just sort of popped up and they said, oh, we need a web developer over here. We need someone who can do IT and stuff. 
um, you're interested in a job. And I was 22, 20, yeah, I think it was 22. No, that doesn't make sense. I must have been 23. And I said, yeah, sure, why not? So basically, I went out, got my passport, which was easy enough in those days, and then flew off to South Africa, never meeting these people before, and knew nothing of what I was about to land into. Turned up there, 5 o'clock in the morning, Johannesburg, um, went straight to work, and yeah, so I was about there for four, four and a half years. You only fail if you didn't learn anything. Oh, that's the trouble. What did I learn tonight? I don't know. That's the problem. Uh, I'm hoping that at least with schematics and whatnot, I should learn something in the next day or two. I sc Oh, my way. You know, if I was truly a horrible person, I would ban you for that. But no, I'm not going to. Well, Spencer, according to the official literature, it is often said as I squared C because it's, yeah, but to me I2C seems fine. Technically I2C is actually more mathematically correct because it's II, IIC, whereas, yeah, two times one is two, but one squared is still one. Yeah, ZX, I know, I know, it's just, yeah, it's, some days you want to have a win on these things, and I think what burns most is that I knew it was working prior to me putting that connector on. So I know that the damage has been done by whatever it was that I did, and I suspect that I did float something. Uh, I'm not sure which side, but I can see there's a bunch of MOSFETs there. Uh, they're just little ones, or some sort of gates. Maybe they're simple little AND gates. Um, so yeah, something there I floated and damaged or shifted off its pads. I need to find out what. So once I get some schematics and board views, I'll at least have a better chance of attacking it rather than shooting around in the dark. Oh look, it's actually a Samsung cell. Interesting. Yeah, too bad you're no good. I will have... well this is already discharged pretty much anyway. So you just wrap it up in newspaper and throw it in the rubbish. Oh well. Alright, uh, what's this? Fixing things just sent me something just as I was about to drop out for the evening. Let's have a look. Ooh, service manual. 211, 210. Downloading, downloading, downloading. It's probably taking a little while because I'm chewing... I'm chewing 4300 kilobit on this and I'm only doing 720p, so I'm hoping the resolution was a little bit better tonight. I was doing some tests with the YouTube private streaming, and I must say I was rather disappointed in the quality of the video being produced on live streams. I have a feeling I am going to have to get a proper encoding machine, something that will do... Like, something that can run fast or very fast mode. Because I suspect when I'm running in ultra fast or super fast, it does that uh, by doing a really shoddy job of the encoding. Well, I shouldn't say shoddy, it's just a very loose job of it. Oh boy. Okay, thanks for that. That'll work. I'll have a dig through. What is the best thing you learned in South Africa? Oh dear. I learned that South Africa has an excellent food culture, would you believe? Uh, when I came back to Australia, the first thing I really missed was the food. I mean, we technically have very similar food, but South Africa, somehow or another, it became a real melting pot of superb flavours and cultures. So as difficult as the situation is over there in South Africa, um, the multicultural side of things is surprisingly vibrant. Um, I wouldn't say that it's mixed, but the various entities do exist um, over there in South Africa. It's, it's almost like South Africa is a bit of a, I could say, a refuge for a lot of different types of people. Yeah. So, 
other than that, you know, as for what I actually learned over there, um, I suppose you could say I learned that I really have to work for myself or have a boss, if I am going to have a boss, that basically gives me a very long leash and then it works well for both of us. Um, yeah, I saw the page 3 knockoff hacker FX951. I did see that there. Alright. Alright. I'm going to wrap up. Sorry it wasn't a big win, but um, if I come up with anything, I'll start another stream and we'll see what we can do. And I've still got to sort out that touch LCD combo thing. That's giving me nightmares. I'm worrying I'm going to have to get to the point where I'm just going to have to actually buy them a new laptop or something. I don't know. Something went wrong there. I'll find it sooner or later. Alright, until next time, thank you, and I'll see you later.